All right. Good evening, Kyle. This evening we're gonna have a open discussion with the well-known characters in Belize. Let's give a warm welcome to Carl Cerote, Miss Jenny Lovell, Grandmaster Ralph Fonseca, Tanya Carter, and William Neal. Now, to open the discussion, we're going to talk to Mr. Carlos Cerote. And Mr. Carlos Cerote, my question to you is, what do you think about the whole tenor performance selling these passports to Chinaman Mr. King? Good night, everybody. My name is Carlos Cerote. Well, I believe, you know, that the performance was not good. If Penner could make papers disappear from Belize, then the performance would be excellent. But I believe tonight, no, the performance was not so good. Okay, and there we had it, Mr. Carlos Cerote doing what he knows best, sticking to what he knows best, music. All right, and now we're gonna move to Let's have Mr. Grandmaster, the famous poet um, in Belize. Grandmaster, let's have the Kyle people hear your version in a more poetic form, you know? Good night, um, Kyle. My, I'm well known as the Grandmaster. But what many of you don't know is my real name. It's Gilbert. Gilbert at home. Grandmaster, yeah. Grandmaster, I have I, I I I I was so excited to present you that I even forgot the question that I had for you. So let me ask you this question. What do you think about this whole situation with the with the passport? Do you think it's a crime? And the next thing it, recently, in the assembly, the Prime Minister, Dean Barrow, said that Belizeans shouldn't worry about it, you know, because he took care of the situation and Penner has been punished. Now, my question is, do we have an independent judicial system or should the Prime Minister be the one punishing us for crime these days? Is it a crime? And if is it a crime, how should we deal with it? Yeah. Grandmaster, yeah. It'll be tennis like no If you do a crime, you got to pay the time. If you do wrong, you need to go behind bars. You want to sell passport with millions and live like superstars. You have to deal with all your people. Them that are the best when something go wrong. All of them protest. Tell her, what the your plan? Why all of a sudden? You became a scam. Grandmaster, yeah. All right, and there we had it in Grandmaster's very own words, a very poetic man. I'll respect to him. And we're going to take a short musical break. Uh, we do need, the, you know, the, 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 the place is getting heated up and the crowd is, is looking like, you know, they need a little entertainment. So let's have Whitney Houston. I know everybody loves Whitney Houston, so let's bring her back to life. And I Performance from uh, the 
Um, um, I'd like for you to introduce me again. All right. Miss Jenny Lovell, she does, she does love making you bring out the energy, you know? And my apologies, Miss Jenny Lovell. I should have presented you with drum rolls, but we're at this moment we don't have drum rolls, so let's hear it for Miss Jenny Lovell! Now I feel better, Mita. I... <laughs> now I feel better. Um, well, Whitney Houston, what can I say? I love it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, and Miss Jenna Lovell, she always brings that, that energy, that love to the, the whole discussion, you know? That's why we had to have her here tonight. Thank you very much, Miss Lovell. Um, no, let's 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 move over to one of the oppositions, you know, Mr. Ralph Fonseca. Mr. Ralph Fonseca has been away for a while. I haven't seen him around. Um, Mr. Ralph, my question to you is, where have you been when this whole passport situation happened, and what would you do? Would, would you have helped Tenor? You know, I know you're a man of work. Would you have helped Tenor? Oh. Well, good evening, Belize. I, I, I was, as you know, out of the country because I had some of my very own issues to attend to. I had to leave Belize for a while. But I believe I, along with Mr. Penner, could have worked this thing out and, you know, split it 50-50. I mean, there is money involved. I would gladly participate. But... I guess he lost my contact number. Or else, we would have come out of this situation clean. I mean, I just came from a long vacation, and I had fun. I'm, I'm back in Belize, I'm back in my country, ready to do me again. Remember, Ralph works. Ralph works. All right, and there we had it, Mr. Ralph Fonseca. He's back in Belize, and he's ready to work. He's ready to go to 50-50%. And once money is involved, he will be working for you, Belizeans. All right, so next we turn to um, Miss Diva. You know, we have great talent in Belize. We have Miss Tanya Carter, who is a award-winning artist. I know a lot of people love her for the ex-boyfriend. You know, so we're gonna have Miss Tanya Carter give her opinion on this. You know, what I would like to know from you, Miss Tanya, is what Penner did something, you know, evil. So I want to know was it just torn up or was it torn over? Well, many people think that I'm a diva, but really, I'm just like any other girls. I think. Elvin Penner, not only turn up, but Elvin Penner turn over. All right, and there we had it. Miss Tanya said it nothing better than anybody else in Belize. She does the turn up and turn over the best. All right, award winning. You, we have to respect, you know, I come from a famous artist. I really love her. I mean, I really love her ex-boyfriend, you know. All right. So um, let's go on to our last last person in the discussion, Mr. William Neal, you know, from Open Your Eye. A lot of people come on with him. He loves to do that whole parade thing and give you, share the excitement with our Belizean. And he recently did that for September, so he must be in the vibe still. We're still in September, so let's hear it from Mr. William Neal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, um, we're here. It's we're we're under the tent. It's very hot. Um, there's a lot of people in in red and white. Um, I can see the support is 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 on Penner's behalf. But nevertheless, we're continuing. The day is all right. And um, back to you. Back to you at the studios. Okay, so there we had it from Mr. William Neal, you know, he all excited about the whole support that people are giving Tenor at this moment. And we're going to we're gonna uh, go back to studios, you know, go back to the, the whole um, celebration and we'll give you an update after this. We're going to see where this leads us to. And uh, I just want 
to bring back you know the grandmaster one more time because i love how he just say how he believe kyle people that the best for kyle people great and i want him to tell you in a poetic form what kyle people love to do kyle people the one people you know what is kyle people are the best when something wrong then go and protest so call your people, don't know people where you go miss. Grandmaster, dear. Call your people, continue be strong. Fight against the wrong. Live a life pure and true. Cause call your, that's how Grandmaster sees you. Grandmaster, dear. Alright, we couldn't have ended so, so sweet. Thank you, Mr. Grandmaster. And do we have a closing song? Do we have a you know, last little performance for I love selling passport and I don't lie or something like that? I know, and I'm not really familiar with the lyrics, but we have a new artist in Belize and he has this whole song about this passport selling that I really would love you guys to hear. My Belizeans, listen to this. I like selling passports and I cannot lie. These Chinamans I don't deny. Your words have no meaning. Cause you continue to do the same thing. Now sorry is a sorry word. Look at all I've done for you. Come with your sweet talk. You call me a sweetheart. And every day you break another piece of my heart Ooh. I'm sorry that you're sorry but sorry's not good enough for me baby I'm sorry that you're sorry but sorry can't dry my tears lady Each time we fight you come with your same story Now you're sorry but I'm sorry cause I can't accept your apology You say it, you say it but you know me you say it, you say it, but me not believe it. You say it, you say it, but you not mean it. You say it, you say it, but me not believe it. Where you want me for the, you're way too repetitive. Me versus you, everything competitive. I know some more want to live. Now when I'm hyperactive, you say you want me to treat a right girl. Look at what you give. Here, 